Sutra. Furthermore, in the past, as many ages ago as their grains of sand in the Ganges River, a Buddha named Jiu Nichiren first came and appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name and instantly decide to take refuge, those people will never retreat from the unsurpassed path. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Lotus Supreme First Come One appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, or if the sound of his name merely passes by their ears, those people will be reborn one thousand times in the six desire heavens. How much more will that be the case if those people sincerely recite the name of that First Come One? Commentary. Furthermore, in the past, as many ages ago, as there were grains of sand in the Ganges River, a Buddha named Jiu Nichiren first came one, referring to how our nature is very precious, appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name and instantly decide to take refuge, those people will never retreat from the unsurpassed path to Bodhi. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Lotus Supreme First Kamon appeared in the world. Padma means Red Lotus, which is supreme because it surpasses other lotuses such as yellow, white, or green lotuses. Red is the most supreme among all the colors. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, or if the sound of his name, Lotus Supreme First Kamon, Merely passes by their ears, those people will be reborn one thousand times in the six desire heavens. What are the six desire heavens? The heaven of the four heavenly kings: Chajashimsha heaven, Suyama heaven, Tushita heaven, heaven of transformational happiness, and the heaven of ease of others' transformations. Celestial demons live in the heaven of ease of others' transformations. How much more will that be the case of those people sincerely recite the name of that first come one, since one enjoys so much merit just from hearing the Buddha's name once? Then, not to mention how much greater is the merit of sincerely reciting the Buddha's name oneself. Long ago, someone went to Pratimoksa Monastery and saw. An amala tree with golden flowers. He picked a blossom and walked to the Shakyamuni Buddha image before him. Seeing how wondrous the image of Shakyamuni Buddha is, he offered the flower before the Buddha image. Then he went and asked an old man, "How much merit do I get from making an offering of this flower to Shakyamuni Buddha?" The old man said, "I do not know. I have to go." And ask a monastic. He went to ask a monk, who responded, "I do not know. You would have to ask the ahat who has practiced Chan and certified to the fruition. Only he can tell you." Then he went look for the ahat who certified to the fruition. Can you tell me how much merit I get for having offered this flower to the Buddha? The ahat said, "Wait and let me contemplate a bit." He contemplated and said, "This merit is impossible to reckon. The blessings that result from it is inexhaustible for eighty thousand great ends. As for beyond eighty thousand great ends, I would not know. You would have to ask the Buddha." He went to ask the Buddha, and the Buddha said, "This merit is inexhaustibly many, pervading all of space and the Dharma realm." One individual receives this much blessings just for making a flower offering to the Buddha. Hence, we can enjoy a thousand births in the six desire heavens if we just hear the Buddha's name once. This kind of merit is inconceivable. Sutra. Furthermore, in the past, inexpressibly ineffable asamkhya ages ago, a Buddha named Lance Rod thus came and appeared in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name and, in a single thought, take refuge, those people will encounter numberless Buddhas who will rub the crowns of their heads and bestow predictions of enlightenment upon them. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Karakutranda 
appeared in the world if men or women hear this Buddha's name and sincerely gaze at worship or praise him those people will become great Brahma heaven kings in the assemblies of the thousand Buddhas of the worthy end and will there receive superior predictions furthermore in the past a Buddha named Vipashin appeared in the world if men or women hear this Buddha's name those people will eternally avoid falling into the evil paths will always be born among people or gods and will abide in supremely wonderful bliss furthermore in the past as many ends ago as there are grains of sand in limitless and countless Ganges rivers a Buddha named George Victoria Victoria first come on, appeared in the world if men or women hear this Buddha's name those people will never fall into the evil paths and will always abide in the heavens experiencing supremely wonderful bliss furthermore in the past a Buddha named Jude Prakn appearance thus come one appeared in the world if men or women hear this Buddha's name and give rise to a thought of respect those people will soon attain the fruitions of a hardship furthermore limitless as some years ago a Buddha named Kashaya benefits come on appeared in the world if men or women hear this Buddha's name those people will overcome the offenses created throughout 100 great ends of births and deaths commentary furthermore in the past it is possibly inevitable as some here ends ago an infinite number of ends ago a Buddha named Lance Rothers come on appeared in the world his name represents how the Buddha speaks the Dharma the way lions roar. If men or women hear this Buddha's name and in a single thought take refuge, those people will encounter numberless Buddhas who will wrap the crowds of their heads and bestow predictions of enlightenment upon them. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Krakuchanda appeared in the world. Krakuchanda is a Sanskrit word that means deserve to end or adorned treasury. If men or women hear this Buddha's name and sincerely gaze at worship or praise him with verses, those people will become great Brahma heaven kings in the assemblies of the thousand Buddhas of the worthy end and will there receive superior predictions of becoming great Brahma heaven kings. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Vipashin appeared in the world. I know no one knows what Vipashin means, so let me tell you now. You should remember because it is difficult to find it if you do not remember. Buddhist dictionaries do not always have this recorded. Vipashin means supreme contemplation or various contemplations. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will eternally avoid falling into the evil paths of the hell beings, hungry ghosts, and animals. As we listen to the Earth Star Sutra now, we also hear the name of Vipashin Buddha. So, 